Yeah. It goes. Uh, do you take cold showers? I do. I've done the cold plunges. That's tough. Man. Okay. I I love taking cold showers. It wakes me up so much. Like so much. I love the energy I get. And I don't know how to describe this, man. But I'm kind of like a, a light switch. Like I wake up every day at 4 a.m. and I'm on. Okay. What time do you go to sleep at? Uh, like call it like 8:30. Okay, so that's that's uh, pretty fairly and early. I got, I got I got two small kids and go hard. So by the time like you get through that transition, you're you're kind of done, right? But sure. I've always I've always been a morning person. And here's the thing too, I try to I the mornings are a very important part of the day. And I think people need to get more selfish about their mornings. Because as soon as you start to uh, allow people to come at you, as soon as you start to open yourself up to the big brokerage world and the freight world that's out there, you're yeah. sucked into the day, right? You're sucked into the, the stuff sure. that goes on because freight is not black and white. It's not A to Z. All brokers are firefighters, man. They're just dealing with shit all day long, right? Yeah. So those mornings, I do believe this. You work out, get your mind right. You journal, you focus on your goals, right? I mean, dude, I do a lot of crazy stuff, you know, in a good way, which I think is good. I mean, I have affirmations that are my voice through like an app called Think Up, right? So it's me talking to myself because again, I'm programming that mind. So I do a lot of these little hacks that I don't think everyone does that puts me into such a mode that when I walk in this door, it's go time. Yeah. Not here to hang out, man. I'm here to produce. I absolutely love that. I, uh, I need some of that because I, I live in Poland. So I go to sleep like around 1 a.m., yeah. Uh, which is seven hours behind Chicago or ahead of Chicago. So it would be what, 6 p.m. in Chicago. And I wake up like around 8 or 9 a.m. So I wake up like at 2 a.m. Chicago time. And I got like all this time where like I don't have to do anything. I, I, don't, I haven't had to set alarm clocks for four years because uh, ever since I moved from the States, I haven't had to. And I, I do miss that morning part because I used to love the mornings back home in Chicago. Well, I think that's a great time to work on yourself. And here's the other thing that I do, right? My office is very visual. I've mapped out my whole life in front of me. So imagine staring at that every single day, right? Yeah. It's a movie script to me. And so how can I, I look it. around at all these things that you don't see on the other side of this wall? How can I yeah. look around at all this stuff and not be dialed in, not be fired up, yeah. right? Not know exactly how I'm going to get that goal or that house or travel this way. Sure. I, I control that, man. So it's like, I just, I constantly have these things in front of me. And so every day I'm just looking at that, chasing it every day. I love it. I love how you said that. Uh, it's like a movie script. That's, uh, I think it's powerful to, to visualize. And uh, well, I mean, and, and I think a powerful exercise too is using pen and paper, literally writing down. This is what, I mean, I'll share that. I know we're going down a little bit of a tangent. But no worries. Funny, man, this is, Little stuff that works, right? I mean, yeah. I have doubled every single year since I started business. And a lot of it has done with the investments I've made into myself through coaching and mentoring. And I just study people. I study successful people. Don't take advice from people doing less than you. But when you, study to, when you start to study successful people, success leaves clues. And it's how you implement this stuff, right? If you're to take a piece of paper, everyone takes a piece of paper and just even writes two years from now. March 10th, 2024, what you want your life to look like, where you're living, what kind of car you're driving, where your kids are going to school, where you're traveling to that year. It's pretty powerful, man, when you start to involve that emotion and put that out there, because this is you and you. I do that on a consistent basis and continually read it. Again, programming the mind, right? That's what I want. That's what I want. That's what I'm going to get. I don't let negative i don't let outside variables control me i run my race and i got blinders on nothing stopping me powerful exercise man yeah. don't get wrapped up in instagram focused on what kim kardashian's doing she doesn't pay my kids private school she doesn't pay my mortgage too many people sit here and they view other people they watch their lives yeah more people probably spend an hour on social media doing that than an hour on themselves. That's scary. Yeah, that's true. Imagine you flip-flop that, what would happen over the course of a year.